Hello viewers. Welcome back to the SAP S4 HANA tutorials. Um, in this video, we will talk about the key innovations that the S4 HANA 1709 version has to offer. As you can see on this slide, it offers a lot of uh, features that are not present in the previous versions, like the R3, the ECC5, or ECC6, or even the older 4.7. Along with the changing world, SAP has uh, gone through a lot of change, and these are the main salient features which S4 HANA 1709 has got to offer. In this video, I may not be touching about in most of these things, but we will be focusing on the finance part of the component. The, the journey with the S4 HANA started in November 20, 2015, with the introduction of the S4 HANA on-premise edition. With this, most of the industry concepts has been brought into the core version, and the discrete industries and milk products is the first to enter the core S4 HANA on-premise edition. Along with that, there has been effective processes included to make the order management and billing proper, and the procurement more efficient, and the material requirement planning more accelerated. It also offered real-time inventory management and material valuation. Going forward, in the month of October 2016, the gambit of the features that have been included have been ex expanded. And more ISs have been included in the system landscape, and more and more features have been brought in, along with optimized portfolio and project management, a consistent SAP Fire user experience. And uh, the most important feature that 1610 has uh, brought in is the integration between the finance and the largest states. In September 2017, SAP S4 HANA 1709, on which we will be discussing more today, has been released. And it has got a lot of features that have been added up on top of the 1610 version. More and more industries have been brought into the core function module and the, the commodity management has been brought in along with the, the sales and electronic and uh, digital payments have been integrated with the core concepts and the migration cockpits and the migration object modelers have been uh, introduced with project support. It also now contains a central repository, a central master data repository wherein you can store all the business partner, the GL account, the material and the article data in the core system itself which does away with the requirement for a separate MDM system. Now let us now discuss about uh, certain key innovations the finance for the SAP S4 HANA has got to offer. This can be broadly divided into five heads. The central finance, the financial planning and analysis, accounting and financial flows, treasury management, and the financial operations. Coming to the first part of it, the central finance. Central finance is uh, Central finance is the core concept on top of a SAP HANA database. The HANA database is more columnar based than the row based, which makes it more fast, efficient, and that it can be integrated with various ERPs and it can house the central finance repository on top of it with seamless integration with the multiple ERPs, be it SAP, the JD Edwards, BAN, well, the Erstwhile BAN, or even Oracle. So when you have, just to take an example, when you have an open item sitting in one of the ERPs and you want that open item to be cleared within the ERP, you have two options here. So you can have the open item cleared in the ERP, in the core, in the, in the resident ERP, which is, which is this system. And it can be connected to the central finance so that only the cleared items can be brought in for your analysis or you can have the open item transferred into the central finance and you can have an integration with the banks. And uh, this, the bank integration, the helps in the cash application module of the central finance to clear the open item and post the open item into the uh, transactional server. So the central finance can also act as a reporting system as well as your actual transactional system. <coughs> So this is, this is one of the very useful features that uh, S4HANA 1709 has got to offer. But the second feature is the financial planning and the analysis. The financial planning and analysis sits on the innovative FAIRI interface. 
predictive analysis has been brought in along with the innovative theory capabilities. Planning is now real time as PICO and the inventory management have been integrated in real time. The semantic tagging helps in identifying and uh, developing reports based on utilization and the legal requirement. Uh, and this could be used not just as a, as a reporting tool, but it can also be used as a predictive tool where you can predict certain business emergencies or exigencies or business needs. So you can have your actual demand planning done in the financial analysis and the uh, planning and analysis module here. It also offers you a flexible hierarchies. So you can have your master data sit in various hierarchies where you can actually relate the data to a particular organization unit. SAP Legal Spend is a very innovative tool that helps you focus, focus on costs and revenues from various quarters. And it also helps to identify the areas where this is more profitable to spend. So when, when there is a unit that is making a lot of loss and they're taking, a, taking more resources, you can actually use the SAP real spend to identify certain black guards and close them out or divert the resources to a more profitable venture. The financial statements can actually be tailored as per the management, managerial and the legal requirements again. Now the accounting and the financial costs. SAP theory is again the core functionality behind the financial and active close. The document splitting and the parallel ledgers have been uh, introduced and they can be used retrospectively. Let's now get into the universal journal. The implementation of the universal journal can be done with no system downtime. And uh, previously, when the classic GL in the SAP ERP has been uh, moved into the universal journal, there was no option to introduce the parallel ledgers or the document splitting because the classic GL did not have these uh, functionalities. But with the advent of uh, S4HANA 1709, the parallel ledgers and the document splitting can be introduced and they can be activated retrospectively. The HANA cockpit has been improvised and it has been made more elaborate and the task lists can be added. The process closing tasks from the classic ERP can be brought in and uh, the release and we can release the closing cockpit task list to various people who are actually responsible for this. We can also manage the task cockpit templates using the same financial closing cockpit. And this is the same interface that you will be using on your mobile phone or your laptop or on even on your tablet. And you can do it at the ease of convenience. And it is quite, it offers quite advanced reporting as well as sits tightly with your compliance reporting. Treasury management. The innovations to the core treasury have been brought in with the SAP S4 HANA 1709. You can, you can actually have the treasury management as an on-premise version or also on the cloud version. But the SAP cash management innovations have been quite elaborate. In this, you can actually, actually create a memory card which will use the bank account directly without the need to configure the cash management account list. So when you have a bank account on which you have been doing some transactions for quite some time, and you want to bring your faster transactions into the system, you can actually bring them as a memory card. And this can be used uh, to, uh, for your reporting or for your uh, analysis purposes. For using the SAP Fiori apps, you can also have your have plan for the bank relationship management. So you can <clears throat> you can manage the bank accounts that will support dual control. So if one person sits in China and the other person sits in the US, you can have a dual control exercise over the transactions that you try to affect on a bank. And this could be quite seamless using the SAP Fiori apps. You will have a cash flow analyzer, which helps to understand using pie charts or a graphic interface to show how the date how the money is uh, spent from the bank and for for, categ for for what categories you're spending the money the sap fury launchpad has got a role treasury risk manager it's a, which supports the debt and the investment managing processes it also helps in uh, actually indemnifying your resources against uh, <clears throat> against the risks 
And it is quite innovative with all the innovations, the payments and the cash management module and the treasury and the risk management. And these have been made faster and more integrated using the SAP HANA database. The last part of this is the financial operations. And it, it, the financial operations integrate with various business networks. So you can focus on your core area. Say for example, you're running a <clears throat> automobile manufacturing unit and the core business is to manufacture the automobiles and sell it and not to focus on the various uh, procurement procurement related activities. So the integration with the various business networks helps in actually focusing on your core tasks, like the manufacturing of the cars and trying to sell it to the various quarters, rather than spending more resources on, uh, on the other, on the, it also integrates with your business networks, the value added cloud services and the SAP shared service framework. So when you launch your SAP Fury app, you will find various roles for various responsibilities. So you have an accounts receivable accountant role, which, which, which focuses mainly on uh, having, a, having a dunning proposal done and uh, displaying a customer list and display the process flow for account receivables, assign open items, and as such. And the accounts payable accountant has got a different set of roles and responsibilities, which can again be controlled using the security framework of the S4 HANA 1709. The new SAP Fury app, it helps you to monitor the payments, to monitor and track the payment by batch statuses, as in approval, approval, or sent to bank, et cetera. You can edit the instruction keys, or you can have your supplier list displayed. And the enhanced SAP Fury apps plan for the payment execution helps in usability improvement for parameter creation in application and manage automatic payments. Apart from the accountant roles, you also have a manager roles. So the manager roles have got some kind of a supervisory authority. So they can, they can actually approve or reject the transactions that are made by the accountants. And this helps in a dual control of the transactions being exercised on various of these operations. The most important and the innovative feature is the SAP Cash application. The SAP Cash application helps you to identify, to read the previous invoices, identify certain key fields using semantic tagging, and it uses the functionality of the embedded functionality of SAP Leonardo, the new upcoming product from SAP. And it actually learns from the invoices on how to match these invoices against payments or receipts. And it provides the matching response proposals. The matching proposals can then be accepted or rejected by a manager or an accountant. And then the invoice clearing or a three-way match between a purchase order and the invoice and a payment becomes quite seamless and easier using the SAP Leonardo, the mission, mission learning functionality. This has previously been called fuzzy logic, which, which has now been integrated into the SAP Leonardo. The machine will actually read the history and it, it learns from the history and it tries to make itself as innovative and as modern as possible. And the matching proposals keep on getting better and better as more and more invoices are processed using SAP Leonardo. That brings us to the end of this presentation. But uh, we will be releasing a few videos about each of these topics in the near future. So if you're interested, please, please stay tuned. Thank you for listening.